crunchy. Tastes pretty good. Tastes is, I'm not gonna lie to you, this tastes almost identical to bacon wood. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get the show on the road. Roll that beautiful intro. Everybody, welcome to another episode of the Vegan Food Review, a series I've created in order to eradicate the notion from up here that vegan food items are both unattainable and unaffordable. If you're a meat eater looking to go vegan or you're actually one of us looking to broaden your horizon, then hey, I invite you to subscribe and at any point in time, make sure to check out the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So it just so happened that the other day I was reminiscing about my meat eating days and I just loved some bacon on my meat lover's pizza. And I just so happened to be at Fresh Mart, which is our version of Whole Foods, if you will. And I stumbled across a product that honestly, it got my attention going. So I came across this smart bacon by Light Life and I figured, what the heck? You know what? Let's give it a try. You never know. It might surprise you. Now you're probably thinking, hmm, why? Of all the products you could have actually used, you went for smart bacon. And there's a reasonable explanation for that. Well, it, it just so happens that bacon is pretty much every meat eater's favorite word. And I figured, you know what, what the hell? I wanna kinda stick it to the man and prove that you can veganize almost anything. So let's get started by checking out the appearance. Truth be told, this looks absolutely nothing like bacon and Looks more like skinny human tongues. On the other hand, the taste is there. This smart bacon comes really, really close to the real thing. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it tastes really good when you cook it to perfection, when you cook it as instructed, and it, cut, it gets actually crispy and everything. It's unbelievable. So I grabbed this for $7 at a nearby specialty grocery store, and it comes to 10 slices in a box, so it's safe to say you're getting your money's worth. Upon further inspection though, I can't really see somebody making this a staple in their everyday life or even weekly because the nutrition facts are just not there. I read the label and it's really nothing to show for it. To be quite honest, this is more like a treat rather than an actual item you could be having weekly for breakfast. Here's a doozy for me. As I am reading the ingredients label, I, two ingredients kind of stood out for me and unfortunately not in a good way. It just so happens that this packaging contains both gluten and carrageenan, which are two ingredients that have been under the microscope lately, especially with their ties to negative health issues. So do I see myself buying this product again? That's a resounding no. Unfortunately, I have to be a harsh critic of the food items I buy. Uh, the previous jackfruit was obviously an excellent buy, but I can't say the same for this uh, light life bacon. I'm sorry if you were considering it, but I'm just being honest here. I would even go the extra mile in saying there is absolutely no way I'm going to put that in my body anymore. So unfortunately, if anybody wants eight strips of smart bacon, you can have and just email me your address. I'll make them out to you. So that pretty much does it for me, guys. Thank you for watching the second episode ever of the Vegan Food Review. I look forward to sharing some more. If you have any ideas or if you simply want me to go ahead and review a food item that you've been thinking about purchasing, go ahead and link it below and I will make sure to include it all throughout the season. My name is Francis. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more vegan options. I will see you in the next episode. Shh.